morning, everybody. This is October 27th, 2011. My name is Jane, Miss Janie here. And uh, yeah, I, must, I think it's gonna rain. I'm actually making a video, believe it or not. Uh, before I say anything else, um, I want to, I guess, give a warning. If you're somebody who um, has internalized the rules, who has become an athlete, you know, after weight loss surgery, if you just got it all down, you have menus planned uh, till from today till Timbuktu, this video is not for you and more than likely will just tick you off. So um, save yourself and me a lot of grief and just cut it off right here, move on to the next video because this video is definitely not for you. But it, th this video is for my friends that are out there that um, are dealing with regain. I'm three and a half years out, so I totally understand what y'all are talking about. Um, I just have a different perspective. I've been seeing um, a lot of videos lately, I mean really catching up, and uh, I don't know, I, I guess I've been watching a lot where this, you know, from one spectrum to the other from people being gung-ho and they're being successful and they're just trying to you know push every button they can to get people to move it to make it to goal and you know they're they're trying to motivate and inspire and you know all that they can do to light a fire under everybody and then I see you know people that I really care about that are struggling and um, and I'm and they're not necessarily making videos you know there's there's people that I know that, you know, they're struggling and they're having a hard time and um, stop making videos because they felt guilty and ashamed. So th that's who my video's for, for those people that I care about that, you know, have are having issues with regain. And uh, I just want to come on and tell you to stop. Stop it right now. Stop feeling guilty. Stop feeling shame. Like I said before, I have been out for three and a half years. I was one of those people that made it to goal in a normal BMI 10 months after my weight loss surgery. And yeah, I put tons of work in it. I busted butt, you know, and um, I got 250 pounds and then I even got lower because I was working towards a bounce back. But being in the 140s is just not for me. For me personally, I didn't like the way I looked. I didn't like the way I felt in that weight range. So for me, and I'm just talking about myself, I am very happy between 155 and 165. Those are the 10 pounds. That's a 10 pound range that I allow myself to go back and forth and yo-yo at. Um, I rarely get on the scale. Um, when I get on the scale, it's usually when my pants start feeling tight because I go by how my clothes feel. So if my clothes, if I feel like, I, you know, after I've eaten, I have to unbutton that top button, you know what I'm talking about? If I have to do that, then that tells me I'm probably at the high end of my um, allowable, of where I allow myself to be. And uh, sure enough, I'll weigh myself and it is. That's the case. But this is how I feel and this is just me. This is just how I'm feeling. Sorry, I gotta switch hands. Um, when I regain, like I'm, I'm, I'm in that period right now. I'm at, at, at a high, at the high end, and you know I'm coming down. I'm coming down. Um, I don't see myself as part of a statistic. I don't think anybody who keeps trying is part of a statistic. I think. I feel like the people who make the statistic when it comes to regain after weight loss surgery are the people who quit. Personally, that's how I think. I feel like the fact that I go up and down, up and down is normal life. I think that normal people who never had weight loss surgery, who never really had much of a weight problem, um, fluctuate. They go up and down, up and down. They don't necessarily stay the same. And so I feel like I'm normal. Um, do I have uh, an old fat girl in me? Yeah, I do have her. She's right there. She's right here. Um, I haven't lost her. I haven't lost her at all. She's still 
she's still around and rears her little face or big face, <laughs> you know, every now and then um, when I'm not feeling my best. But really, I just feel like a lot of people are being really hard on themselves when they shouldn't be. I think that regain happens. Um, now, am I going to give you excuses and um, whine about it and say, you know, man, I've been trying hard? No. This is a no whine, no excuse zone right here. The buck stops here. When I gain, it's because of choices that I make. But you know what? I, like I said, I get to that point where I feel like, hmm, okay, things are getting too snug here. Then I start doing things. Um, I'll do the five-day pouch test, not to lose weight. I do it for restriction, to feel restriction again. Um, this time, uh, lately, I've been trying the, uh, uh, what is it? The Black Candy Sacred Heart Diet, which I really like. But the thing is that, um, if we're going to talk about rules and following rules, well, that diet goes totally against the rules of my doctor because I'm not allowed to have soup. Um, I'm not supposed to have liquids with my solids. So, uh, but, so when I hear people talk about rules, you know, rules are good and they're meant to be followed. But I also know this is my life. This is my life. And um, I no longer need anybody to tie my shoelaces. I tie them myself. Uh, I can't fit into the clothes that I fit in before weight loss surgery. They're huge. This is my life. And so when I want to get to a certain weight, yeah, I will get strict with myself and I'll make better choices and I'll up my exercise because it's true, if you want to get to a certain point, you have to exercise. If you want to be healthy, you want to exercise. Um, my point for weight loss surgery was to be healthy, to not die anytime soon. Um, sorry about that, they're picking up the, the garbage here at the park. Hold on, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. But anyways, so, this is what I just want to say to you, to my friends who've had re regain. Um, you can get to where you want to go. Don't quit. Don't be a statistic. Quitting makes you a statistic. The weight loss journey isn't easy. But this is what I, I, I want to put this to you. Because, you know, this is what I believe. Do you remember when um, you were a teenager or even when you were younger or even with... Um, you were falling in love with the person that you married or who you're with. Do you remember what that felt like and what you would have done to just see that person? You know, the little notes that you wrote, you know, the constant thinking about them, um, just the turning yourself inside out for that person, you know. Do you remember what that felt like? Falling in love and all the crazy things that you did for falling in love in the name of falling in love. Well, I suggest to you that you fall in love with yourself. Fall in love with yourself in that way, to where you'll do crazy things for yourself. And that means, you know, making better choices about what you eat and exercising daily because you love yourself. I would just ask that you think about what it is that you want. What is it that you want? Not what anybody else wants. Not but what anybody else thinks is right. What do you want? What's going to make you happy? You know, what, what's going to make you happy? Think about that. And then go crazy in love with yourself to get those results. Because I know that you can. Because if you married the guy that you fell in love with or the girl that you fell in love with, or if you dated that person, or if you ever got to be with any person that you ever fell in love with in your life, then you've achieved getting what you wanted. So if you really want to be a healthier, if you really want to be thinner, you're going to do it. Just fall in love with yourself because you're really worth it. Anyways, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I think I took out too much of your time, but um, I love you guys. Don't, don't feel shame. Don't feel guilt. 
That's what got us big in the first place. Shame on the people who make you feel the shame of yourself. Shame on them. You just love yourself. Love yourself enough. But remember, you got to decide what is it that you want. What do you want? How badly do you want it? And then go out and get it. Anyways, we'll talk to you later.